Please welcome first the fighter in the red corner, Nick Lamau. Nick Lamau. Nick LMAO. What a name. Jay Swingler, if he doesn't put him away in the yeah. first, first round. It'll be 30 round. seconds. It's a complete fucking pointless fight. Has this guy has this guy fought? He doesn't look like a fighter. When in reality, you've no idea how good this guy's gonna be. He was a problem for Jay. Tonight, I was most impressed with uh, Nick, Nick LMAO. Nick, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, actually, yeah. I think he did really, really well. That Nick guy is reminding me of when I'm trying to box. It's, yeah. not, it's not nice to watch. If you want that fight, you know, right? If it wasn't in the hometown, I think. I swear, I said on, I said on the mic too, I was, yo, you want, you're winning. You want that fight? I was 15 years old watching KSI Joe Well in my bedroom, just like most of you are doing right now. And I said to myself, one day I wanted to do what they're doing. And today, I did that. And thanks to you, thanks to Jay, KSI, Misfits, and everyone, thank you so much! What's poppin' my people? How are you guys doing? It's me, Nick, or Nick Lamau, or Nick LMAO, or whatever you guys want to call me. If you don't know what this video is about, basically, uh, this last weekend I had a boxing match. And this is a little bit of how it went. If you didn't know, I was a big underdog coming into this. I mean, like, everyone on Twitter, on Instagram, on you, everyone was saying I was going to get knocked down in 20 seconds. A first round, it was a waste of time. No one believed in me. And then uh, I came out, I went four rounds, and uh, I lost on a decision. So... That is what this video is about, my uh, my thoughts on that and uh, my thoughts on the event as a whole. Anyway, so first off, I want to say that event was like a dream come true. I mean, I, 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 I'm I so grateful to to Misfits, to Happy Punch. They they helped me get in on this event. KSI, I'm a huge fan. Um, all these guys helped me and put me in this position where I was able to, to actually box uh, Jay and Jay by the way, is an amazing guy. And I seen him getting a lot of hate online for this decision. And I don't think that's really fair to him because at the end of the day, I promise you he's not paying the judges. Um, he, he, he went out there and he fought his heart out with me and uh, I have nothing but respect for the guy. Such, such a nice guy. Uh, so please don't direct any hate towards him. Anyway, so let's get right into it. When the uh, decision was announced, I, uh, as you guys can see, I was visually uh, quite upset and a little bit surprised, like I lost by like three, I don't know what the score was, but I, it was very significant. It wasn't even close to the first judge. So then after that, I was like, okay, I guess it's a draw. It is what it is. And then, and then I lost, which I was a little bit surprised about. In that moment, I know a lot of people were saying like afterwards, like I saw some people saying, he was, look how happy he was. He knew he lost. I just, I could not stop smiling. I was like trying not to cry. It was, it was like, I was just so happy to be there. The loss really, really, it, it couldn't affect me in that moment. Nothing was gonna ruin that moment for me. That's why you can see I was still laughing, having fun, uh, dancing. And um, you know what? A lot of people, I'm sure after their fights, feel like they've won, even though maybe they haven't. But then I went online and oh my goodness, you guys were incredible. I mean, I've never, I went from probably the most hated guy on this whole event to having like, the world supporting me. I, I mean, it was like, I was, I was like, kind of like, I was like, I was lost. I didn't understand it. it. It was so surreal, like having that many people defend me and, and, and stand up for me. It, it was, it was crazy. So thank you guys. Nonetheless, I didn't really want to comment on it. I took the loss on the chin. Uh, the reason I didn't want to comment on it was because I hadn't seen the fight back yet. However, last night I did watch the fight back. And I did feel like the decision wasn't exactly fair, but I didn't know I didn't want to come across as a sore loser. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to react to it I was I was kind of like in my head thinking did I win did I lose I, I didn't know but watching it I, I did feel I did feel like I I was surprised um, I was I'm very proud of myself and that's and that's a very important thing because at the end of the day the, Remember what I said the first time I ever talked to Jay the only thing I care about is not giving Jay an easy fight 
That's the, that's my only goal. I don't care about winning. I don't care about losing. I don't care if I get knocked out. I'm not giving Jay an easy fight. And at the end of the day, when I walk out of ring, win, lose, knockout, draw, decision, everyone hating on me on Twitter, at the end of the day, I'm going to be standing in that ring and everyone's going to be like, damn, all right, respect. That's my only goal with this. But I also said this. It's, I'm just gonna go in there. I'm gonna. I know it can't go to decision because they're just gonna let you win. And I and I and I do think there was an element of that, not because of Jay. And I can't stress this enough. Not Jay's fault, but I I do think there was an element of biasness in the judges. Um and and yeah, that that kind of sucked. But you know what? At the end of the day, I I had the greatest night of my life. So I think there's few people that can have the greatest night of their life and still be upset. So I don't want to be ungrateful. Greatest night of my life and win, lose, draw, whatever. I'm so grateful. Until I found out that fighter of the night went to Jay and not me. And he got the 25,000 pound bonus. That should have been mine. And now I'm making the video. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. People were saying I was robbed and I was like, eh, that was like, I'm robbed. <laughs> but seriously, but seriously, that, that was obviously a joke. But, but seriously, Happy Punch, Keemstar, they, they said they want to appeal the results. When they said that at first, before I had seen the fight, before I seen Twitter, because people were just hitting me up on my phone, I was like, dude, if I lost, I lost. But now I'm watching it back. I, I do want to appeal it and see and see uh, what they say. Hey guys, uh, this is Nick from the future. The PBA has released their official decision on the uh, appeal. And at the moment, it doesn't look like it's going my way. Uh, again, this has nothing to do with Jay. So no hate to him. But yeah, I'll keep you guys posted if anything uh, else happens. But uh, keep watching to see about the rematch. Jay stand-up guy he took he got the win but he he still offered me a rematch i saw that happy punch want to do appeal to the pba i think it is um on the decision so we'll see how that goes but regardless of that outcome i would like to offer nick a rematch we need a clear decision we need a clear decider and i want to offer that to him because he's a great fighter he entertained a lot of people and i'm pretty sure if we had a, another fight We'd have a lot more people supporting him. Am I going to take that rematch? First of all, Jay said a lot of times uh, throughout this, 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 uh, like afterwards, how he fell flat, how the pressure got to him, and the, and I agree with him. But you have to keep in mind, all that stuff happened to me too. I mean, I had thousands of people booing me. I had tens of thousands of comments leading up to fights saying I'm going to get knocked down in 20 seconds. It came to the point where I thought I was going to get knocked down in 20 seconds. Okay, it was bad. Uh, I didn't sleep. L look at this. I got my I got my sleeping pills. I, I got no sleep two nights before the flight. They had to switch hotel rooms for me because I, I couldn't, couldn't sleep. And and I think Jay said that in one of our face to face. He's like, mate, you're not able to sleep. I was like, yes, you're right. I can't sleep. It's scary. Because uh, because stepping into that ring was the hardest thing I've ever had to do. And uh, I'm just saying uh, I definitely. I I'm not saying Jay didn't fall flat and and didn't have pressure on him, but there was pressure on me too. So I, I don't think that's a fair reason for him to, to say like that was the reason. I, I got tired so quickly. The adrenaline dump was insane. Um, but yeah, it just is what it is. And you just have to fight through that. that. That is the name of the game. I don't think any boxer steps into the boxing ring feeling 100%. That is just unrealistic. You know, uh, I was sick three weeks before the fight. Good enough that I'm not taking... <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. I just... No, you're up. good, bro. Even against like Logan, it was... <clears throat> Sorry. It was say I, I we'll go to you on this. I I still have a sinus infection to this day, but you just gotta fight through it, and and that's that's the name of the game. So uh yeah, people saying Jay fall flat and the pressure is like I I had that on me too. So you just that that isn't an excuse in my opinion. Will I be taking the rematch right away? Probably not. And here's why: I went into this fight a huge underdog, and I don't think I was an underdog because of. His experience, well, okay, his experience was a bit, okay, yeah, okay, he had experience in me, but I don't think it was my skill that made me the underdog. I weigh like 10 to 15 pounds less than him on fight night, probably. Uh, this isn't my weight class. I came up there to fight him. I was put there probably not to win. I think that if there is going to be a rematch, which, which I would love down the line, I think the weights need to be more fair because I do think that if we were the same weight, I do think it would have been a different result. And that's all I'll say on that. But please, none of this to discredit Jay. 
what a guy. I've heard nothing but good things from anyone. He invited me to his house afterwards. Uh, his whole family came out to me afterwards and, and, and uh, such an amazing guy. But yeah, uh, I think if we're gonna run the rematch, we, we have to renegotiate that. And uh, that's my thoughts on that. Uh, if you guys wanna see uh, more videos on my thoughts about the fight, like reacting to the actual fight, let me know and uh, until then, like, subscribe. This is where I'll be posting all my boxing stuff. And I'll be back. Trust me, I'll be back. Peace.